Week two. Finally, two weeks has passed since I had ACL reconstructive surgery. But before we do anything else, it's finally time to take this compression sock off and to take off the bandages underneath. So let's do that and let's have a look at the scars. I haven't seen it. I woke up post-surgery with the bandages on. I don't know how it looks. So it's finally time to check it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's take this thing off. All right, so the first thing we do, we take this sock off so my leg can finally breathe. These bandages look nasty. As you can see, I had to shave my leg like from here to here. It's just a mess. I have to be careful taking this off because I don't want my knee to twist. <sighs> Relief. So let's take this little bandage off first and then we're gonna take off the big one and have a look. The first thing we can do is we can have a look and compare the legs. I can flex it and I mean, something happens this one when i flex it you see the difference like and this one is just soft anyway i hope you're as excited as i am because i've been looking forward to this uh, you can hardly see anything okay time for the big one. Oh wow that was one two and this third one here okay so are we supposed to take these off as well? Okay, nice. Can't really see anything. All right, here you can actually see it. Yeah, you can definitely see this. Yeah. It's still like... Yeah, this, <laughs> this one is actually pretty big. These ones are small. This one is hardly noticeable at all. I don't know. I don't even know what they did here. But this one is pretty small but these ones damn this is nasty feels nice I haven't I mean it's been two weeks already <sighs> like the difference is night and day week one was pretty rough I stopped taking the painkillers six or seven days post surgery I was given a prescription on oxycontin and that's a strong opiate I just wanted to get off it as quickly as possible day seven or eight nine those were the worst days like waking up in the morning was horrible like you f you feel the swelling when you stand up and the blood starts going down your leg like you feel you feel your heartbeat in your knee like doom 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 like it was pulsating pain now i'm basically pain free uh it doesn't hurt my range of motion is so much better and we'll see how this knee feels today when i'm walking without the compression sock it's a bit scary now there's no bandages there's no compression it's just my knee and my leg holding me up and that is uh it's a scary thought right now so far so good we're gonna go and hit the gym we're gonna see how it feels walking without the compression sock and then we're gonna do some rehab and we're gonna see how much i have progressed in one week this is not for fake, this is not pretend I was always like this, just a white boy from the ends yeah. What I drive is not a rental No, I had a long day, so she gave me dance oh. Two phone numbers, no phones on me I can't trust nobody but my own body Wish I was a nobody, not a nobody Take my whole body, then I make a carpet copy I just get the bag, then I oop yeah. I just want the check like a swoosh all right we just got done with that gym session let me just try to talk while i'm climbing into my car let's see let me just get this leg in every time i go to the gym i feel some improvement like i felt stronger in my leg right now it's not about developing strength it's all about mobility honestly the way i like to think of it now is it's almost like a video game i explained it to someone yesterday it's like a video game and right now i'm on level two the second week is level two and on level two i can bend my knee beyond uh 90 degrees 
Week three is level three. Maybe I can unlock the walking without crutches perk. You know what I mean? So it's it's actually pretty fun. Level one was a nightmare. Uh, I think it gets easier and easier from here on. But pain-free, gym session went good. Range of motion greatly improving. Stability in my knee. I'm walking now without the compression sock. And it's actually like the first couple of steps were... The, it felt different. You felt naked almost. You felt like there was something missing something that was supporting my knee is now not there anymore like the muscles the stabilizing muscles had to do more work and that is good because i know i, I can handle it obviously i'm walking um totally without crutches today also and uh, feels good it feels good we're on the right way so now we have to get home put some ice on the knee i still ice the knee after these sessions because it just feels good. And eat so that we can maintain these gains and get jacked. So right now, the biggest struggle, honestly, is just moving and, and trying to get back to some sort of normality, like move, moving around in the apartment without freaking out every time my knee makes a sound because it's all normal. And um, But so far, you know, this week has been really good. Tomorrow we have physio. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'm getting some new exercises for my rehab. And uh, yeah, this was episode two. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm really enjoying taking you guys with me along for this journey because uh, it's going to be a long one. And please, if you already haven't, check out the previous videos that I have made in this series. Um, I'm really going to commit to this and, and keep uh, dropping these videos so you can follow me along for my recovery. All right. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next week.